it's me Martin and in this video I will share with you my very first thoughts about this new dash cam from 70 Mai. I'm not sure if 70 Mai is still a Xiaomi ecosystem company but what I do know is that they continue to release impressive dash cameras. And this one, the Dashcam Pro Plus from 70 Mai is no different, so let's get started. Before I get to show you the actual footage, I want to discuss something else. The unboxing, the incremental updates and eventually the price as well. But first, the unboxing. So first up, the unboxing. This is the all recycled paper box and inside we have a small container that has the stickers to mount it to your window and some paperwork to get you up and running. Of course the desk cam itself is there and that looks a whole lot like its predecessor. There's the rear camera module. And in the last container we have a dual port car charger, cables to install both cameras, a pry tool and the front window mount. The new desk cam from 70 Mai is another iteration on an existing line of interesting products, of which I've tested the desk cam Pro in 2018, the light version in 2019 and last year their dual vision model. If we take a look at this chart, then we see that over the years they've iterated on both hardware and software. In short, this model is the A500S and it's the successor of the highly popular A500. So a few key specs are, for example, the 1944p resolution. The GPS is built in, you have ADAS, there's an app control, the Sony IMX335 sensor, parking surveillance, speed and location recording, there's a time-lapse feature, time calibration can be done automatically, and event recording. Now let's talk about the price. The very first model, the Pro version, is still on sale for around 55 euros. The new Pro Plus model with the hardware kit is 65 euros or with the rear camera instead 72 euros. Now if you go for the full package it's around 82 euros. Which is a steal considering what we get in return. But as always all links will be available in the video's description so make sure you check it out after watching this video. Here are these samples you've been waiting for. As you can see with daylight conditions, the dash cam does a phenomenal job. Although if you compare it to the Pro model, the camera module is still the same, the IMX335 from Sony. Therefore with lower light conditions, they're also very similar to the Pro module, though they do remain one of the best in its sub $100 category. Even during night conditions, there's enough visible to determine what happened in case of an accident. Another small flaw or drawback or a feature that I would like to see is some sort of a battery indicator because right now I don't have a clue how full or empty the battery is. This comes in especially handy for those who don't want or cannot get a hardwired kit. So I'm currently driving around 50 kilometers an hour. The sun is really bright right now and here's a little audio recording for you guys so you can see and hear what it is to drive with 50 kilometers an hour. Departure. So as you can see in here, the lane departure is pretty effective. But not always as you can see. What I still like a lot, even with this previous model, is the design and its actual compact footprint. It is small, compact and very easy to navigate with the four buttons at the bottom of the display. Switch to rear recording. It is also easy to hide the dash cam behind your rear mirror so you can keep your view clear while still being able to check whether or not you're recording for example. 
Even installing the dash cam is easy, which I explained in my other videos, check them out here in the top right corner in case you can't figure it out how to install it. Just like its predecessor, but also all of the other models that 70mi is selling, there's an app to connect it to your phone. The app over time also improved a lot and it's now much easier to handle. You can download your recorded footage for example, but you can also check your route data and GPS for example. And there's still so much more from settings to all kind of recording settings, name it and you will find it within the app. The 70Mi Deskcam Pro Plus model has all the bells and whistles you expect from the 2, 3 or 4 times more expensive brands on the market. But that doesn't mean it makes it less capable. In fact, I am surprised to see the amount of extras we get for a device that is less than $100. If you want to have a simple to use desk cam with all the features from the more expensive brands, then go for this one. In the end, you have to decide whether it's worth it or not. The only thing that I can say is that I find it recommendable, I can recommend it to you. And also, to be honest, the normal regular pro version is still a smart buy even in 2021. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. Check out here in the top right corner all of the other desk cam videos that I've made. And for now, I hope you liked the video, so give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe in case you haven't already. And then I hope to see all of you in the next one.